Yo, yo, yo! What is up, guys, and welcome back to another video. I think everybody knows what this is gonna be about, okay? This is about the crystal key right here. Now, everybody, like, a lot of people found it, okay? Like, a lot of people found it. I don't know, you know, like, I don't know how everyone found it so quickly, but this was the hardest, most random, and plus, in a way, easiest key to get, I guess, because... Everybody's gotten one. I obviously was not the first one. The first person was like Sans something one two three. So uh, congrats to Sans one two three. But anyway, you guys probably want to know how to get it. So let's just get right into it. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to the village over here that has that old dude, the uh, Bernard guy. I think everybody's known him. Everyone keeps talking about Bernard. Ever since the beginning of this event, people have been saying Hexaria, Hexaria, Hexaria. And guess what, guys? It was Hexaria. Just crazy. Anyways, I'm very disappointed I didn't get it first, but, you know, I am very excited that everybody got it, and it's, it's pretty awesome. You know, it's now it's like the Dominus, you know? Who's gonna get the Dominus? I don't even feel at this point I'm gonna get the Dominus, because I got pretty far in it, but then there's parts where I got stumped in, and then by the time I figured it out, it was already too late. I looked on it, and I'm like, 30 some, 40, 50 some people? Awesome, legit. Anyways, you guys don't want to hear about that. You gotta go to Bernard. You gotta have the J key if you don't, this will not work. So you gotta go up to him, you say, Light Speaks. Um, I already have it, so he's not gonna say it. But basically, you say Light Speaks, he responds with something. He's, he responds with two different lines. That's how you know it works. Alright, now what you want to do is you want to go back over to Nick, which, like, everybody has been. Um, like talking about, you know, like ever since the beginning, which is crazy. So, uh, let's run over to Nick. Go over to the teleporter. For those who don't know how to get to the p teleporter, you just want to go follow this fork to the left. And then the first fork you see, you want to make another left. I'm showing you guys, I'm not cutting this part out because this map could get confusing. And uh, I got confused a lot. And I also, as well, just kind of ran around a lot. Now, I don't know 100% if you need to go over to him. Actually, yeah, you do need to go to him. You need to follow the steps. So anyways, let's hit to the left. And I think we got to hit another left. There you go. I'm sure there's an easier way to get to this thing. I feel like I just went in a circle. But yeah, we're going to go over to this teleporter. Teleport over to the other island. Man. Since we're walking, I might as well talk about it. But um, man, it's just crazy. So anyway, you got to go to this teleporter. It'll teleport you to the other island. And, uh, yeah, it's just crazy, guys. It's just crazy what you have to do in this. And it's crazy how, like, I was so close. I mean, honestly, I was so close. And I know Creek and I think, uh, was it Landon? We're working together to get it. And, uh, I, I had to, I was on, I was streaming, but I had to turn it off. Because there was, he was, right? There was no way I was going to find it. I'm just walking around and, and talking. But please, 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 thank you. So this, this is the best route to get to the teleporter without actually running into anybody. Alright, either that or you can wait for someone else to run into them. Then you can just go on and skip on by. So this is what I'm showing you guys. Very detailed explanation because, you know, sometimes you can fall off the map and all that ridiculous stuff. So this is the fastest, most detailed way to get it. So as soon as you get here, for me this works. As long as you're here, you just go ahead and type in Light Speaks. You don't even need to go up to Nick. You just go ahead and type in Light Speaks and it'll teleport you. So, we got Light Speaks. It'll teleport you to this. All you do is run straight. Just keep running straight. People are like, hello, you've come a long way. I know what you seek. And he's like, oh, you've been bamboozled, son. You got a long way to go. Blah, 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 blah. And you have to wait. Just kind of push him around a little bit. Just wait until he talks again. So, he'll take a while to talk. Don't leave at this point, okay? Do not leave at this point. Just stay, stay, stay here, stay, stay. Yeah, he'll talk, he'll talk sooner or later. There he goes, finally. Uh, this, do not even focus on this riddle. This riddle is, like, it, this riddle is, uh, just complete, like, butt. Like, it doesn't do anything for you, so. Go ahead and just jump off. Uh, make sure you jump off. Don't leave the game, okay? Just jump off. So what you want to do now is you want to wait until nighttime to find... The lantern. I'll show you guys where the lantern is. So go ahead and reset again. This will bring you back to the first teleporter. Just a lot easier that way. So it brings you back to the first teleporter. Go ahead and get inside the teleporter. And I will show you the way of 
the lantern. So you want to go towards the crypt. For those who are new, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are new, uh, go ahead and to go to the crypt, go ahead and make a right as soon as you get out of that teleporter. Keep going down. And the crypt should be this way here. It's right here, actually. Super close. Pretty sure this is the crypt. Yep, this is the crypt. Let's go ahead and jump, jump, jump. You want to jump to the other side of the mountain. Because the other side of the mountain has got the lantern that you need. Now, this is the lantern that will give you the code in Morse. Now, uh, my code was... This is not going to work for everybody. If you get lucky, you might, but... Uh, my code was, where is it? I wrote it everywhere. It was like everywhere. Okay, my code was like Y-L-X-E. And I know Creek's code was I-F... I'm sorry, let me look for it. I've been writing everywhere on this thing. You guys don't even know. It's U-F-I-F. -F. That was his code. So you can try either codes if Bernard does not say anything back. If it does not give you a cookie, okay, a fortune cookie, then that means that it did not work. So you want to wait until nighttime. It's morning, so it doesn't work. When it's nighttime, you will see the, the lights blinking, okay? Now, I don't know Morse code. People on my stream help me, so, you know, like, props to them. And, but, I, if I learn Morse code, I'll make another video of it. If I don't, this is all I can show you guys. I'm sorry, but, so, uh, you wait here. You ask every, you have to, you guys have to work together, and hopefully somebody on the server knows Morse code. And then after you get the Morse code from the blinking lights, you basically want to go back to Bernard in the oh well this is the easier way to get it you, all you do is go this way well now you know now you gotta go back to Bernard in the town okay what you want to do is just type in I don't even know why I'm here because I don't even have the Morse code or anything but anyway let me show you guys once you guys here go ahead and type in like blah 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 like what it's, it's not gonna be uh, numbers by the way it's always gonna be letters so type in the letters like you know well let's say like it's like this Type it in. He'll give you a cookie. Once you get the cookie, you're going to open up your inventory. Just like this. Okay. You're going to open up this. And then you're going to use it. This is going to pop up. The lucky numbers. You have to put the lucky numbers down in your map. So let's go ahead and open up your maps. Let's go ahead and put them my lucky numbers. Let's hope it works. 12, 35, 57, 32, 77. Boom. There you go. So the schwarmer uh, thing pops up. What you want to do? You want to teleport to it. It's crazy. Like, I would not figure this out in a million years. I mean, first, anyways. <laughs> uh, so you go in. You got to go up to the bedroom. Now, I don't know if this works outside the bedroom, but go ahead and go. I don't know the Pokemon cards. That's kind of weird, but go ahead and step on the bed. And you want to open up your inventory and type in exactly what it says. It's word for word, everything. If you miss something, it's not going to work. You don't. Stop and look around once in a while. It's a while. It's spaced out, by the way. You could miss it. You gotta hear that noise? So that noise is what you gotta do to get the golden handle over here. Booyah, baby. There you go. But uh, I didn't get anything. But once you do do that golden handle thing, you'll turn it. You'll get something called the Philosopher's Stone. I traded it in, so I don't think I have it to see. Nope, I don't have it anywhere, but it's going to be called Philosopher's Stone. So what you want to do is go ahead and uh, reset yourself. After you get the Philosopher's Stone card, go ahead and talk to this fool. And uh, not, instead of saying that, he'll say, oh my god, do you have the Philosopher's, Philosopher's Stone? You know, if you do, you want to trade it, go ahead and click Yes. Then you will get this key right here. And the key has something written on it. It's at a place of sanctification and the land is blah, blah, blah. Basically what it's saying is go back to the church. You go back to the church right here, and then you talk to Ted. Ted will be like, yo, what is my last name? Go ahead and type in long bottom, and you reply. Boom, this is going to open. Who knew it was even down here? Like, come on now. So anyway, you step on top of it. You teleport in. You have to do this. This is like DDR, but with like your fingers. If you don't get it, you're going to have to fight him. And uh, most likely, he will absolutely wreck you. So let's go. So you got to talk to him. Wow. So for me, all he says is wow. But when you talk to him, you got to do the whole DDR thing. The one with, um, you know, the, the arrows go up and you have to hit it at the right exact spot. That's what you got to do. And then once you beat him, you get the crystal key. That's that's it right there. I mean, man, like props, like especially to, to whoever, like with sand something, one, two, three, that got the key first. This is amazing. Like, I don't know how she thought of like, oh, let me, you know, 
let me just type this in and then this comes up and then you have to do the exact quote that you see on the cookie in on the bed and then that'll that's just like props like wow you know like the copper key was hard but uh this was it just really took a lot of thinking so that's like props props to, to the first person who found it for sure now uh, I don't think the Dominus is going to be out, but let's talk about that another time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and how to get it, and I will see you next time. Much love.